Hello crafty friends, welcome to today's clean and simple card making video. Today I'm going to use these alphabet dies, a happy birthday sentiment die, a flowery embossing folder and some other bits and bobs to make a happy birthday card for you. So the first thing I'm going to do is take a stitched rectangle panel of smooth white cardstock and run it through my cuttle bug with this flowery embossing folder to emboss the flowery pattern on the card. And then I'm going to set it aside and work on another stitched rectangle panel. Off camera, I die cut the letters H-A-P-P-Y out of smooth white card. I die cut two of each letter and then stuck one on top of the other. So each of my letters here is two die cuts thick just to give them some extra dimension and sturdiness. I used matte gel medium to glue them together. So my plan is to have my letters bridging a gap in the front panel. So here I'm using my ruler just to get everything lined up, making a couple of pencil marks where I want to make a gap in that panel and then using my guillotine to trim out that piece. And hopefully you can see here what I mean. I'm gonna put the flowery embossed panel behind the front panel so that some of that embossing is peeking through the gap in the front panel. So my plan is to colour the embossed panel, but I didn't want to bother colouring the whole of the embossed panel and waste ink on something that isn't going to show. So I made a couple of pencil marks either side of the gap. And now I'm taking saltwater taffy distress oxide and blending over that marked area. To add a little bit of luster to the raised areas of this embossed panel, I'm using Sizzix Luster Wax in rose gold and just gently burnishing it over the flowers with my finger. I do bring in a bit of extra ink and just go over it with my blending brush and I also burnish it a little bit with a microfiber cloth to get off any excess luster wax. And now it's time to assemble my card and I'm using my scoreboard to help me do this. You don't need a scoreboard, just anything with a right angle really. A stamping platform would work well. To adhere the front panel down to the embossed panel, I'm using a combination of tape and glue because I want it to stick really well. And all I'm doing is pushing the embossed panel right into the corner of the scoreboard putting the adhesive on the front panel and then pushing that right into the corner and pressing down so that everything is lined up perfectly. I started with the big bit, the bottom portion, and then I flipped everything around and did the top part, the smaller portion. It doesn't matter which way you do it. Before sticking my letters and sentiment to the front of my card, I'm adding my panel to my card blank with some tape runner. You don't have to use tape runner, you can use anything for this. And now I'm adding my letters. I'm popping a bit of glue on the back of each one and lining them up so they bridge the gap. You can use a T-square ruler or something similar to get everything lined up perfectly, but as this is quite a bouncy font, I'm adding my letters in a bouncy way. I'm not making sure the bottom of each letter is lined up with the bottom of the next letter, if you see what I mean. I'm just letting them look bouncy on the card. If you want a bit more dimension on this card, you could put some craft foam in between the two panel layers. That would look quite effective. But I'm being really aware at the moment of increasing postage costs and thicker cards in the UK at least are more expensive to post. So I'm trying to keep my cards as thin as possible. To finish off my sentiment, I cut happy birthday out of smooth white cardstock with that die that I showed you at the beginning. And I also trimmed it down so I just had the birthday part. I didn't want my sentiment to be happy, happy birthday, although there's nothing wrong with that. I just wanted the birthday part. So I trimmed that down. Then I used the 
ink that was left on my brush to colour a piece of card, stuck my birthday sentiment down onto that so you can see the pink through the letters, trimmed it out with some scissors and now I'm just beveling the edges with my embossing tool so that the whole thing looks die cut rather than snipped. To stick it on I'm using some matte gel medium again and placing it to the right hand side underneath the word happy. As a finishing touch I'm adding glossy accents to my letters to make them look a little bit shiny and to give them a little bit more dimension and that is this card finished. I do hope you've enjoyed the video and that it's given you a few ideas of things you can do with supplies that maybe you already have in your stash, an unused embossing folder or alphabet dies. If it has please do let me know in the comments and do come along to my Facebook group and share some photos of the things that you make. We would all love to see them. And I will see you back here for my next video very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.